All right, good morning, folks. It's the AM Icebreaker for Wednesday, March 7th. Uh, we're 10 days out from the Game Developers Conference, so like I keep saying, if you want a movement screen on site, please let me know. Um, I'll probably have some room to take take appointments at the conference, but I'd really like to know up front if anybody's interested, so hit me up and we'll get that booked. Leave me a question for the live Q&A. Uh, this weekend, we're going to talk about goal setting, prioritization, a little bit of time management, and really just kind of how you know how, how to set yourself up for you know if you're trying to get onto a path to, towards something whether it's a, a business uh, I don't know a training goal and, and you know anything that you feel is just like really big maybe kind of overwhelming you a bit and you need you need a way to kind of put things in place uh, we'll talk a little bit about that because that's definitely one of the most valuable things I've learned in the last couple years and it's really helped me you know with getting my stuff going getting my um you know getting getting my as i'm getting my own business off the ground as i've been you know even scheduling my continuing education at some point got super overwhelming so having having a plan and knowing kind of where i was going and what the point of what i wanted the point of my education to be really helped so good stuff and like i said we'll talk about that leave me a question if not i'll just ramble again for 30 minutes um and speaking of rambling, I think today what I want to talk a little bit about is uh, feast versus famine mentality. Now, you guys have probably heard about this. And as we approach the Game Developers Conference, I like to sort of reflect on um, kind of my time in the games and tech industry. And probably the most valuable lesson I learned was that was that idea. I didn't know this at the time, but that idea of, of feast versus famine mentality. Now, what I mean in that context is... So when, when I first started in the games industry, I, I literally had no idea what I was doing. I mean, I thought, I considered myself more of an artist. I mean, I got into games because I wanted to go work for Disney. I'd be an animator, and instead I somehow ended up doing games. But <clears throat> the thing that really kind of moved me along and just kind of helped me, helped me learn, helped me learn the ropes, helped me learn what to do, what not to do, and just helped me learn the skill that I was kind of, that I was going to need to do my job was, was that feast mentality from people, that idea that, like, it doesn't take away from me to help somebody else. I mean, any time I would go online to a forum and say, hey, I need help doing this thing. I need help solving this problem. Somebody would answer right away. And, you know, it's funny because even the first time I went to the Game Developers Conference, you know, I, I, I'll admit I was a little starstruck because I was seeing all these talks by people who, <clears throat> who I had connected with on forums and who had given me answers and, you know, given me tips and help me write scripts and tools and then to actually see them live and get to talk to them and to realize that like oh wow in person they're they're still just as helpful and they're just as cool like as you know as real people I mean these are people who are like like five ten times more experienced than I am and they're they're willing to just sit down and talk to me kind of the the, the noob and say hey here's yeah try this try this here's a here's a thing you might want to think about um and some of these guys I'm still friends with to this day, you know, guys like, you know, Jason Parks and Brad Clark. And I mean, unless you're a tech artist, you know these people, but it's all good. And um, and, and I think that I, I've seen that that also play out in as I've been getting my fitness industry education. Um, you know, I got I got to throw shouts out, of course, to all the folks at the United Academy, for example, who have been super generous with their time, especially, um, you know, folks like 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 uh, Sarah, you know, my mentor and uh, uh, Coach Aaron Guyette, the Battle Ropes mentor, Master Coach, who... Yeah, it was was very very helpful to me. You know, let me let me help him um, on things. It's helped me on things. You know, and you know, and the thing with all these guys, you know, they didn't really need to let me help them do things. It was more they were giving me an opportunity to <clears throat> gain some you know live experience, and so and I really appreciate that. You know, same with that. You know, Tony Jeffries. I know I keep mentioning that guy, but he's he's been he's been probably one of my biggest supporters as I kind of like get into the industry. You know, I mean, I remember after my my level two box and burn academy he took the time to just sit down with me and say hey if you have any other questions just just toss them at me let's just talk for a bit and i will you know i'll help you out as much as i can and so <clears throat> that's really kind of the way i look at things you know i don't if i've learned anything it's that there's enough for all of us man there really is i i don't look at it like <clears throat> you know, I want to take over the movement industry or I want to be the movement coach. It's like, honestly, I don't even want to like, I want to like take over Seattle. I just want to be like, I just want to be another person out there who's doing good work. And, and that doesn't mean like, I'm not going to have my niche. That doesn't mean I'm not going to have my thing I'm going to do. But, you know, I'd, I'd rather be part of something. I'd rather, rather than being like, you know, the man on the hill, the man in the ivory tower. Um, you know, that's, you know, I was talking to Sensei the other day about some of the Viking Ninja stuff and, 
you know, I've always wanted to open my own gym, but having the opera and I've tried to, you know, I've tried to like go on with people on partnerships and that's never, that's never gone well, but you know, I have an opportunity to do that again with Viking Ninja training and it's very exciting because, you know, I know all the Viking Ninjas are solid folks and to, to be able to go in on a project like that, you know, I'm not saying anything, you know, we haven't actually formalized or solidified anything yet, but it's something we've talked about and I, I really hope that works out because, you know, I'd, like I said, I'd rather be part of this amazing crew doing awesome work with a bunch of really cool people versus me just kind of, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, you know, I mean, I know a lot of folks who own their own gyms and run their own gyms and are doing well, but the thing that, but the reason I know about those folks, and the reason I respect those folks is that even though they're running their own gym, they're still part of something, you know, they're still bringing continuing education into their gym, they're still getting out there and training at other gyms, they're still connecting with other people, and they realize, you know what, we're part of, you know, we're, we're part of this bigger thing, it's not just me and my gym, and I'm just trying, and I'm trying to be the man, or the woman, or whatever, and I'm trying to take over, so, <clears throat> I think I'm just going to leave with that, you know, if, if you ever find yourself stressed about, you know, if it all seems too big, re remember that, like, it is, but, it's only going to that's only going to affect you negatively if if you look at it as you against all that bigness for lack of a better word but understand that if if you try to be part of it and you try and like it's like i said the other day find your tribe you know find your tribe and, and get the mission done if it's all of you against that it's not it's obviously not quite as big and that kind of goes to an idea we'll talk about this weekend about you know how like again how to break things down and how to, how to kind of make the big not so big so, all right, so this has gone on a little long, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take off, and uh, cheers, guys.